Good morning everyone. I am Dr. Rasta Bhutiani, Senior Consultant Gynecologist at Indura Ayurved Center, Patel Nagar, New Delhi. Today I will discuss one topic, ovarian cyst and endometriotic cyst. What is ovarian cyst? It is large fluid filled sac seen within the ovary. It can be simple or complex. When it contains only fluid, it is called simple ovarian cyst. When it contains solid areas or blood, it is called complex ovarian cyst. It is very commonly seen in the females, mostly at the age group of 20s and 60s. It can be seen in one ovary called unilateral or both the ovaries called bilateral. It can be functional ovarian cyst or pathological ovarian cyst. Functional ovarian cyst is seen in normal menstrual cycle when there is no ovulation. And the follicle keeps on growing, doesn't rupture, leads to formation of functional ovarian cyst. It does not need any treatment and it resolves by its own. But pathological ovarian cyst needs management. It includes endometriotic cyst, dermoid cyst, serous cyst adenoma, mucinous cyst adenoma. Most of the ovarian cysts are asymptomatic and resolve by its own, but sometimes it can present with pain in pelvis and abdomen, pain during intercourse, pain during periods, nausea, vomiting, bloating, constipation, increased urinary tension, and infertility. Now, question arises are all ovarian cysts can cause infertility? No, not all ovarian cysts can cause infertility. Only endometriotic cyst, polycystic ovarian, and large cysts can cause infertility. How can we diagnose? By pelvic and abdominal examination or ultrasound pelvis and MRI pelvis. It can be caused by hormonal imbalance as seen in polycystic ovary or due to anovulation like seen in functional ovarian cysts. In pregnancy, there is corpus luteum cyst formation, severe pelvic infection or endometriotic cyst. It can be Treated on the basis of age, fertility status, size, symptoms, and nature, whether it is simple or complex. Conservative measures and surgery is done as a management. Conservative management is done in small and functional cysts by giving hormones or antibiotics. Surgery is needed when there is torsion of ovary, endometriotic cyst painful or large ovarian cyst or if ovarian cyst is suspicious of cancer. Ovarian cysts can also cause cancer mostly seen at the age group of postmenopausal. Now I will talk detail about endometriotic cyst. When cyst is filled with blood, it is called endometriotic cyst. It is mostly seen in endometriosis. Now what is endometriosis? When the inner lining of the uterus grows outside the uterus, like in fallopian tubes, ovary, bowel, and bladder. How endometriotic cyst develops? When this inner lining of the uterus grows inside the ovary, and under the influence of hormones every month, there is periodic shedding of the inner lining leads to menstrual bleed or periods. When this inner lining of the uterus grows inside the ovary, and there is periodic shedding, leads to bleeding but there is no escape path of escape in the ovary for bleed so collected in the ovary blood is collected in the ovary and after some time it is converted into dark brown color which looks like a melted chocolate so also called as chocolate cyst it can be diagnosed on the basis of the symptoms and ultrasound pelvis it can be managed on the basis of symptoms and age. If the symptoms are mild, then hormones, antibiotics, painkillers and observation is done. But if it is moderate to severe, we have to do keyhole surgeries like laparoscopy. All the endometriotic cysts should be followed because it can lead to complications like hemorrhage, torsion. If you have any such symptoms or suffering from ovarian cysts, then you should take expert opinion and take right management at right time. If you have still any queries, you can contact any 
in Rayu Center, Pan India, or can call toll-free number given below. Thank you so much.